I've competed a little bit, you know, in Vancouver and, and some higher level competitions and, and competing has always been uh, it's something very fun for me. Like before cooking, you know, I always played sports, uh, basketball, rugby, hockey, always team sports. So um, competition has always kind of been inside me. And to be able to, to reach a certain level to compete against some of um, Canada's top chefs and, you know, in various competitions, not just chopped, but... Um, Winning, winning any competition is such a huge accomplishment for me because really I'm just competing against myself yes. and it's just um, a little bit of, um, you know, I, I take pride in what I do and it's a little bit of satisfaction and, yes. you know, I was able to, yes. t- able to achieve that. So. Yes. so we have so many dishes here, they're all yes. very beautiful, creative. Can you highlight some dishes for us? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we have a, a bit of a mix of dishes here today. Um, we just wanted to show you our potential and at the same time give you some of the Soko classics. Okay. Um, so, been on the menu since the hotel opened. We have our, our meatballs, uh, pork, uh, veal and uh, beef meatballs. Really good, really moist. On top is some pine nuts and Parmesan cheese. Mm-hmm. Uh, on here we have just our Soko mac and cheese. The mm-hmm. mac and cheese is actually one best festival. Uh, mac and cheese three years in a row. Okay. Uh, it takes place at Ontario Place. Uh, so we won again last year and we're um, planning to do it again this year too. Wow. Um, inside though is actually, we put a little twist. Um, we actually have the option to add braised beef or actually um, add uh, some prawns. So inside we put a little bit of lobster stock, uh, some prawns, uh, preserved lemon, and finish it with butter and that uh, fresh herbs. That makes the difference compared to the others. Yeah, you know, like for me, like I love classic cooking, but yes. I like to just add different twists to it yes. just to make separate ourselves from, from everybody else. So. And you know, we have a great team. I really lean on them to, when it comes to menu development. Um, You know, we kind of all sit down and we collaborate on a lot of our dishes. Um, Here we have a tomato salad that's gonna be on our menu soon. Uh, We're playing around with things, so it's just like nice heirloom tomatoes, uh, some really good burrata cheese, which is nice and creamy. Uh, Some classic uh, flavor pairings, so you got basil, you got balsamic gel. Um, and we also put it with an almond praline, so just some isomalt uh, baked with some almonds. It kind of gives it a sweet, uh, you get some salty, some acidic, uh, really well balanced plate. Here we have um, a variation of our poke. Uh, there's some compressed watermelon in there, some marinated albo fortuna from BC. On top you have a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, avocado, salsa fresca, uh, pickled apples, pickled cucumbers, and then for texture we have some puff rice. Uh, and then on the side we serve, um, it's a parmesan stock base uh, cracker with an we fold in squid ink yes. and, uh, and then tapioca as well. So you kind of eat that creative. together. Yes. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yes. It's just uh, something different, you know, just um, you kind of eat it together and you get like a little crunch, you get some freshness. This is a, this is a dish here that's um, a flavor, some flavor uh, profile that we've kind of been playing around with for a few, a few years now in my career with just different chefs and cooks that I've come across with. So it's uh, foie gras based. We always use uh, ruji foie gras, mm-hmm. and then we serve it with an unagi. So unagi, foie, honeycomb, and daikon is like kind of like a flavor pairing that I've kind of been working around with uh, for a few years. So this is not a dish that's actually on the menu, but it's a dish that we would serve um, if we're going to have a tasting menu. I think this dish uh, we present you to because some Asian ingredients yeah. mixed with the uh, Western cooking technique. Yes, exactly, and that's kind of like what I like to do is you know classic cooking with some with some Asian in it. So, and here is a dish that's inspired by one of our sous chefs, um, really talented cook. Yeah, it's kind of like um, from his hometown. So it's a uh, uh, we use ocean wise fish. Uh, it's a piece of cod here, yes. uh, marinated and cooked with uh, coconut milk, uh, coriander and uh, just simply steamed. Uh, served with um, a curry pumpkin puree, uh, raisin dots uh, just around, and then we have a shrimp dumpling Ooh. and a lemon foam as well. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. Thank you very much.